Hello, I'm Neighbor Rich and welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you decided to join us today. Um, we are going to be taking a look at motorcycles. Um, we're going to be looking at some really nice high performance motorcycles and also some cruising bikes. But one of the things that you probably wouldn't know about me is that I actually have a motorcycle license and I enjoy riding motorcycle. Now, I don't have a motorcycle right now, but I have over the years and um, certainly really enjoyed uh, getting out there and riding and all that, but you've got to be super careful and always ride defensive because motorcycles, people just don't see them. And uh, it's nice actually if you got a little bit of volume to your motorcycle uh, because you got a little bit better chance of somebody knowing that you're there. Anyhow, um, the thing is that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually going over Jared Kempisi is a local YouTube guy. Um, he has a channel. He's had it for five years. He's celebrating today. And so we're going to go over and we're going to visit with him for a little bit, do a little bit of interview stuff. And uh, then um, we're going to head over to uh, a Harley Davidson shop and we're going to take a look at some motorcycles there. So it ought to be an exciting upload and I'm glad you're joining. So let's go. It is time to start up the beast. So let's get my morning greeting from my Z06 and get this party started. Here we go. I love it. And we are off. One of the interesting things about uh, the C7s is uh, certainly it has a lot of uh, creature features that are really, really nice. But, you know, one of the things that's nice is that it, it does tell you, I don't know if you can see the yellow right above the uh, uh, 3500 RPM to 4500 RPM and then red, but obviously the engine is still cold. And it's telling you, you know, you really shouldn't be trying to um, rev this out or to really do something until the engine's had a chance to warm up. You know? Being into high performance motorcycles, he also has an AMG. Oh man. Yeah, baby, you gotta love that. Hi, I'm here with Jarrett Campisi, and I am really excited about this time. You know, first of all, congratulations. Five years is totally awesome, and you are killing it on the channel. Thank you. I love the, the content, I love the Appreciate bikes. It. And you know, that AMG is oh, really a sweet car as well. Nasty. So that is really sweet. Uh -huh. So, but anyhow, how did you get started? What what made you decide that you were going to start a YouTube channel? Yeah, so a lot of people don't know this, but I was working a full-time job doing digital mapping. Okay. And I had my seven year anniversary at my job and it's supposed to be like a happy time, you know, like congratulations yeah. or whatever. And I was actually really sad because I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. There you go. And so I kind of had this moment where I was like, okay, I either work this job and do something that I'm not proud of, or I take a chance, and that's when I started my YouTube channel. So wow. I was doing it tandem with my full-time job for about two and a half, three years. Oh, that long? Yeah, and then it was that was in California. Oh, okay. And then my mom actually was like, hey, you know, Christina and I were dating. She was like, why don't you move yeah. home? You can live with me for a year, try YouTube full-time for both of you. And that's what we did. We moved back home to, to this area, uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. We started our full-time YouTube, and during that year is when everything took off and everything exploded, and that's when we really like if we didn't do that and didn't have that time to go full time yeah. none of this ever would have happened yeah. so yeah. That, that is that's awesome it really is that's a great story yeah. and a great success story you're yeah. killing it on the yeah, channel you, you really are yeah, you. but you know i love some of these mods you're doing mm -hmm. these high performance bikes are just super incredible and i just can't wait to hear a little bit about this ducati okay yeah. uh yeah so let's go man okay. tell me about it so the cool thing about this ducati is it's a ducati panigale v4 sp which is a limited edition ducati yeah sp actually stands for their winter test livery okay so it's kind of based on their bikes before they get their paint schemes in the winter that's why it's called that's why well it was black yeah but now we've changed it yeah um but th these are numbered bikes you can see them right here this is number 223 we're probably going to only make about a thousand of these for the whole world. Uh, wow. So they are limited, yeah. yeah. And what's special about this bike is um, it comes with carbon fiber wheels, which is based on the Superleggera. So the Superleggera 
Ducati's exclusive full carbon bike. They're hundred thousand dollars. Wow. So what we well even this bike, like what's this bike is up there. Yeah. So it was forty thousand new, and then we added about thirty thousand, thirty-five thousand worth of mods. Wow. So it's sitting around eighty thousand wow. if you add in uh, uh, some of the mods and yeah. things. So all of this bodywork is full carbon. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. It's gorgeous. The wings, all the bodywork, and even if you come up here, Rich, yeah. see this here. This is something that's called the front fairing stay. It's yeah. What attaches the front end of the bike. Mm -hmm. yep. This piece is all carbon, all the way down in there. Wow. Now, even the Super Legera from Ducati has that. So this bike has some really trick pieces that you don't see on any other bike. It's uh, about 226 horsepower. And 226 yeah, horsepower? Yeah. At 400 pounds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Think about that. 400 power. pounds. Yeah. yeah. Think, think about, about the yeah rate. the power to rate weight ratio. Incredible. And this also has a dry clutch, which is super cool. Like, dry clutch? I don't yeah, even so know what. all wide open. Oh, okay. I see it. That's for oh, race, yeah. That's for race applications. The race bikes use this, and it's because there's no oil in there, so it doesn't get your oil as dirty. Oh, okay. And it doesn't pull, suck power out of it either, because there's no... Uh, so you don't lose any there. power off of the... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. And I don't know, did you get a soundtrack on this thing? That is, yeah, I did. Yeah. Did you see the dash too? So this bike is has a ton of electronics. Oh um, yeah. <clears throat> the cool thing about it is if you see it down here. So over here you can see you have slide control, Ducati yeah, slide control. It. You can actually drift this bike and set how much it allows you to drift it out so you don't high side. Yeah. Wow. It has engine brake control, so that's like when you downshift how much uh, engine braking you have. It has traction control, wheelie control, ABS front and rear, like it's crazy. It has a lean angle sensor so it knows where the bike's leaned over and it'll adjust things based on wow. your lean angle. Yeah, wow. it's, it's a, and it even has electronic suspension. So when you go from, say, like a street mode, it'll be nice and soft. When you put it in race mode, it stiffens it the stiffens suspension. It stiffens the whole up. suspension. Yeah, up. and it's adaptive too. So as you're hitting bumps and stuff, and wow. fixing it. Yeah, like wow. it's, wow. it's, it's pretty much the pinnacle of motorcycles right absolutely. now. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, anyhow, hey, you know, I know you're busy and you got a lot of fans here and stuff, yeah. and I don't want to take up a lot of it's your time, good. but I really appreciate you spending some time with me. Hopefully and we'll get to see each other honestly, more. Honestly, yep. In the summer. Five years, congrats, man. Hey, That's congrats awesome. Congrats on your channel. Yeah, Best thank of luck. You. Make yeah. sure you subscribe to him. He's a great guy <laughs> and down to earth, and I'm excited. I've been watching your videos, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, well, thanks, Jared. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. We just got done talking to uh, Jared Campisi, and again, I hope you guys follow him and take a look at his channel. He's a great guy and uh, super into bikes and cars and a uh, guy after my own heart. Anyhow, I'm now up at the uh, Susquehanna Harley-Davidson dealership and we'll go inside and see what we can learn about the new Harleys. All right, well, we're inside and Kyle is gonna give us an idea of what Harley has got for the 2022 models. They look really exciting. So Kyle, give us a shout out. How's, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> kind of put me on the spot here, Rich, but I, I think I can. I think I can. You can handle this. this. You can. Hit, you can handle this. You're. You're. You're good, man. <laughs> so but, go ahead. Yeah, tell me, please. Yeah, so brand new for 22. As far as Harley Davidson is concerned, obviously we're just going to start walking down the man, line. Man, there's right a here. lot of chrome on this bike. Yep. So the one thing with Heritage is moving into 22 is they did introduce a chrome motor for the 114s. Okay. Yeah. So you can't wow. get neither black or chrome. Uh huh. Of course, moving on. Under yeah, and then you go special. to black. Yeah, and then you go to black. Yep. Yep. Everything black on black. Very stealthy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think Batman would be proud to, to, to drive this one. What do you think? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so then we go to white. <laughs> yep. yep. Harley brought back a white back out for 22. This is called White Sand Pearl. This is on just a standard Street Glide 107. Beautiful. Beautiful. These are these are just such gorgeous bikes, and there's just so much Absolutely. fun to, to ride and to um, get out there on a beautiful summer day. Especially, you know, it's it's a little tough when the weather's like this, but on a beautiful <laughs> summer day, you cannot beat this. Yeah, nothing nothing quite nothing quite compares to Harley Davidson when, as far as cruising is concerned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's one thing I definitely learned working here is, I mean, I've ridden a couple bikes, especially working here, a lot of trade-ins of different models. Just something about Harley seemed to ride different. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. I'm with you 100%. Yep. 
So, so they were the ones that, and this is still 114. These still 114. Now these ones here are 21s. Yeah. So these have some, some, some incentive programs running to them, but moving into these bikes here, these are your full touring bikes. These are, come from Harrisburg, go to California. Oh yeah, look at it. Yeah, they got yeah. the way the seats are set up and everything, beautiful. Run 800 mile days, you know, 16, 17 hours at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, at my age, if I'm on the bike for more than about an hour, I'm really feeling it. So, <laughs> but yeah, these these things here, are your your these are your grand or these are your grand yeah. national tour bikes. Yeah, these are, beautiful. These are what you use for? They're beautiful. Yeah, it's such a, it's such a different bike. Yes. From like the, the sport bikes, the high, you know, performance, yep. you know, quick bikes that, you know, have like two, 300 horsepower, it's just crazy. Yep. And, uh, but these are just gorgeous. And so what are, what are kind of, the, what's the market like right now? Like what are the prices kind of running generally and, and all that kind of stuff? So, I mean, any, anywhere from, you know, your sports are going to range anywhere from about 10 grand. 10 grand up to even the CVO level of bikes, which I can show you those up there in the window. Those are okay. going to run you about 50 grand. 50 grand. 50 grand for those bikes. Wow. So, but those are the top of the line motorcycles. Those are premium paint, premium motor, premium sound system all installed. Yeah. So those are going to be what your, those are going to be, you know, for those high dollar guys that yeah. want yeah. to stand out from everybody else. Those yeah. Are the motorcycles. Now, do they still do the Screaming Eagles? They do. They, so the CVOs are actually the Screaming Eagle products from before. Um, in about 2000, I want to say about 2008 or 10, somewhere in that range, they moved over to CVO. It's called, it uh, stands for Custom Vehicle Operations. Okay. This is the CVO, and Kyle's going to give us a little bit of an idea of this one, but there's no question, this is one gorgeous bike. Take a look at this. Yep. This is a CVO Road Glide Limited in Hightail Yellow. High tail yellow. And CBO stands for Custom Vehicle Operations. So yeah, this is the top of the line bike rolling right out of the factory right now. Wow. That is super cool. What you know what the horsepower is on these things? Is it so Har Harley doesn't usually release horsepower? Okay. Bikes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Oops. Okay. This is gonna be a <laughs> deep dark secret here. We we won't tell anybody except the hundred thousand people that are gonna see this. That's fair. <laughs> I mean there's there's dyno runs on them. Um, typically 117s, especially with the uh, the new STs. You're gonna be about yeah, more torque than anything. You're gonna be about 125 foot pounds of torque with everything. So the cool thing with the CBOs especially. The 117s that come in these are full stage four packages. So they do have ported heads, intake, torque cams, and Screaming Eagle mufflers on them. So these things are ready to roll. Yeah. Wow. What a beautiful bike. Man. That is so cool. Kyle, I want to thank you, man. This has been awesome. And I know that, uh, you know, we really appreciate Absolutely. You, know, you, you spending some time with us today. <laughs> And uh, we'll be back to see you again, hopefully soon. Absolutely. We'll All right. be more than happy to do anything for you. That sounds good. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kyle and the guys here at Susquehanna have been great. Uh, it's been a fun, fun video. Uh, this will pretty much do it. Uh, what I want to do, though, is I do want to leave you with, with something positive. And so, you know, my positive statement for today is be yourself. You know, everybody is different. Everybody is their own person and their own personality. Some people are introverts, some people are extroverts, some people just chill and they're neither one. If that's who you are, then be yourself. Have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next one.